So hi, uh, let us see a problem on uh, differentially phase shift uh, keying. Now, uh, so they would have mentioned like a data stream one double zero one zero zero one one. Whatever the data stream they would have mentioned, we have to consider this data stream, and for that data stream, I have to encode or I have to sketch a waveform. Uh, how my output waveform looks like. So this is uh, what we have seen the DPSK transmitter and receiver part. So what they are asking us to do is uh, what is the signal that I'll be getting at the output of this product modulator. So that is what we have to do now. So let us consider this data stream 100011 uh, one, one one. So this is the data stream what they have given and I have to do a DPSK transmission for this. So differentially phase shift key transmission. To do that uh, let us uh, take a DPSK modulator and DPSK modulator is nothing but uh, this part we have seen the transmitter part. So I have to mention this logical network. So here will be just taking a logical network to be a basic NOR gate and I'll be calling this as BK that is input stream and this has the differentially encoded stream DK and uh, I'll be taking a feedback this is delay preferably a one bit delay okay DB which induces a bit period TB delay and it feeds back to the input signal. So this is my PK, the sequence which are they are given and uh, I have to find the differentially encoded data at the output. So to find that uh, let me consider this 1001011. So this is my actual data that I am getting at the input PK this is PK to calculate DK what I am going to do is uh, to find DK initially I am going to assume DK to be 1 so you can assume DK to be 0 or DK to be 1 so uh, I am going by your textbook so I am just going to consider this initial bit DK to be as 1 so what I am going to do is, uh, this is the first bit period actually, this is TB minus 1, the previous. So this TB uh, will be X0, so the previous data will be X0 with the present bit. So 1 X0 1 is 1, 1 X0 0 is 0, 0 X0 0 is 1, 1 X0 1 is 1, 1 X0 0 is 0, 0 X0 0 is 1. 1x01 is 1 and 1x01 is 1. So this is my differentially encoded sequence. So this is my so this is my differentially encoded sequence which I'll be getting out of my uh, TPSK uh, first half part and for this I have to represent a continuous wave fashion signal so to represent it with uh, phase shifts so because this is differential phase shift key DPSK so I have now got a differentially encoded se sequence for this I have to represent phase shift so for this to represent phase shift what I am going to do is uh, for bit 1 to be transmitted I am going to just take uh, actual signal so this is my uh, transmitter part which we know so what we have to do is product modulator what it does is for bit 1 it will be transmitting this signal for bit 0 it will be transmitted this signal which is advanced by a phase shift of pi radians so that means to say for bit 0 wherever I have bit 0 I am going to transmit a signal of 0 degree phase shift 0 degree phase shift and wherever I have bit 1 or sorry bit 0 I am going to transmit phase shift of 
pi. So 1 corresponds to 0 degree phase shift or 0 radiance phase shift, 0 radiance phase shift and uh, 0 corresponds to pi radiance phase shift. So this is my phase uh, transmissions or uh, this I can call this as the transmitted phase shifts of my input signal. So I'll be calling this as the transmitted phase. transmitted phase. So now how to uh, plot the waveform. So let me just give you a small brief of the signal which you all know. So this is a sinusoidal signal of one cycle. So this is my zero degree phase shift pi radians uh, pi by two radians. This is, this is pi. This is 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi so this is the uh, phase representation of a given signal so what we are going to basically do is this is my differentially encoded sequence that I have got so I'm just going to represent that differentially encoded sequence I'm just going to take the, this back So this whole corresponds to a bit period TB. Likewise, every every duration is corresponding to one bit period TB. So for a bit one, I have signal having zero phase shift. That is, the original carrier signal will be transmitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider three cycles. So you can consider two or you can consider four cycles. It's left to you, but let us follow a uniformity so I am going to consider uh, three cycles in one bit period so I will be having three cycles in one bit period so for bit 0 or bit 1 to be transmitted I will be having a signal one cycle two cycle three cycle being transmitted okay again from bit 1 to bit 1 there is no phase shift 0 and the same signal 0 continues so again one cycle two cycle and three cycles have three cycles three cycles from bit one to bit zero i have a phase shift of pi radians so that means phase shift of pi so phase shift of pi means this is a signal the pi starts from here from pi this starts the signal starts like this that means to say your signal now has a pi radians of phase shift one cycle two cycle three cycle then again from 0 to 1 you have a pi radians shift that is you can call this as 2 pi or even you can call this as 0 0 and 2 pi are 1 are the same because it is a periodic signal so 0 and 2 pi again you have the same signal being repeated so you have to take again a 0 signal or a 0 phase shift signal so let me consider this 1 2 and 3 and there is no phase shift between 1 and 1 because the same signal being transmitted again 1 2 and 3 then from 1 to 0 you have a phase shift of pi so pi means to say this is 1 2 and 3 so this is 3 so pi shift again you have pi radians starting from this point 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 cycle again there is a phase shift so that is this goes on like this so this is how a differentially phase shift key signal looks like after thing so probably I just missed a cycle or so it is it is a bit uh, awkward looking but make sure yeah, that you have this properly written so this is how we do a problem 
on differential phase shift keyed signal. So this is how a differential phase shift signal looks at the transmission.